Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and welcome back to The Great Maker Show and Tell. Today we are making gift tags. Actually, what we're doing is getting our crickets to make the gift tags for us. That's right, it's a brilliant idea and it's not mine. It came from you, my wonderful crafty friends. I don't know why I didn't think of this myself. Our crickets can cut and write and they can do all of that and they are the perfect gift tag making machine. Like seriously. Now last year I made some really fun gift tags. They were super popular and what they are is they have a tear off strip on the front that you can use to keep the recipient's name a secret until it's time to open it then they rip it off. And these turned out to be hugely popular last Christmas and many families made them. They tell me it was fun to keep names a secret. So I am going to show you how you can use your Cricut to write the hidden name inside the gift tag for you. And I made a dozen new gift tag templates so that you can make more traditional gift tags with your Cricut too. So like a whole bunch of different shapes. And I made something else for you. So while the Cricut can use its pen to write, you have to be careful about which fonts you pick to uh, write with or you'll get the dreaded bubble letters. And when you see this, that means the Cricut basically drew the outline of the letters. But what we want is to have it write and actually look like real handwriting, or at least that's what I want. <laughs> but there are only two free writing fonts in Cricut Design Space, and honestly, neither one looks like handwriting to me. So, I made us a font of my own handwriting. <laughs> It's created specifically for the Cricut pen, so it looks like someone actually wrote it. And yes, I have neat enough handwriting. I called my new font Maker Pen Writing, and it's free for you to use for all of your Cricut pen writing needs. You'll find it in the Cricut pen writing font and all of my free gift tag templates over on my blog at jennifermaker.com. Other than that, all you need is some pretty paper. I like this foil poster board. Um, the paper packs that you get from the craft store are great too. And pens, uh, Cricut pens. You can use other ones. I have a video all about writing if you're not sure. I like the point four tips, but the calligraphy pens are okay if you make your font big enough. So let's head on over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you how to set up your gift tags and put your Cricut to work for you. But first, if you're not familiar with using your pen on your Cricut, head on over to my video about Cricut pens. It'll tell you everything that you need to know about how to, which pens to use, how to use them, everything. And then you're also going to need my files and my font. So you'll find all of those things over in my free resource library on my blog at jennifermaker.com. I'm not gonna cover how to install a font in this video. But if you need help with that, ask in the comments and I will direct you to resources that can help you or make a new video. All right, so now go to Cricut Design Space and you're going to click on New Project. I'm going to upload the gift tag files. So click on Upload, then Upload Image, and then Browse. And locate the gift tag template SVG file that you downloaded from my blog. So this, this is about a dozen gift tag templates in every shape that I can think of. And you're just going to import these in and we're going to use this as the basis for our gift tags. So first ungroup them so that you have access to each individual design. Now let's put some text on these so that the Cricut can write the to and the from names, right? That's how I do gift tags at least. So click on text over on the left and then in the box that shows up, type the text that you would like. It might show up big like this. It depends. If it does, you can resize it. Sort of drag that up there and then use the icon in the lower right corner that looks like two arrows and click and drag it to it until it's the right size. And then you can click and drag it until it's where you want it to be on your gift tag. Now this font uh, needs to be changed from cut, which is the little icon right? The little scissors icon. You click on that and you change it to write. And now if you put a pen in your Cricut, it will write those letters instead of cut them. And this is important. But this 
these are bubble letters. We don't want bubble letters, right? <laughs> we want it to look handwritten. That's what a gift tag looks like. So go up to font, and if you click on style, and choose writing, this font has a writing style, right? It's one of the two free fonts that has a writing style. And this is Cricut Sans. You can change the letter spacing and whatever you need to make it look the way you want. Now it doesn't, still doesn't look like handwriting, but at least the Cricut Sans writing style will not create bubble letters. <laughs> And then when you're ready to cut this, it's really important that you attach it. So you need to select just the text and just the layer that you want it to write on, not the entire gift tag because there's two layers there, right? There's a back layer and a front layer. So you, in this case, you would select the text and the blue layer and click attach. And now it will write on that specific layer and make a gift tag. And that's really all there is to using your Cricut to make gift tags. But of course you can get fancier and we can experiment with a different font and I can show you how to use the font that I made. So if you want to use a different font, let's get some more text. So click on font and type in uh, your text. Resize that until it's the right size. We're going to scroll over here so we can see it. So if you want to see what the writing fonts are available to, for purchase, you click on filter and you choose writing. All of these fonts are listed here. They all have writing styles. Now you'll know they're all cost money. There's a price in front of them. If you click it access, some of them are included. Okay, but if you don't, then they cost money to use. This is one of those that's, this is the second free writing font and it's called Cricut Alphabet and it has a writing style. So these are the two free writing fonts that are in Cricut Design Space right now. Now let me, sh let me show you the font that I made, the Maker Pen Writing font. So we're going to click on text and we're going to type in some new text. All right, so if, if we want to change the font for this, te for this uh, text, we click on font, we click on, the we click on the font menu, and we reset the filter so that we see everything. And then here you're going to type in the name of the font that I made, which is called Maker Pen Writing. So you see it right there and change it. And this is what it looks like. And you can resize it, position it where you want, and then select both the text and the layer immediately below it and click attach. And boom, give tag with a handwriting font. So let's go through and make some more gift tags. Now, a couple of notes. I did create some alternate to's and from's since these are gift tags and I have a particular way of writing my to's and from's on my gift tags that I've been doing for years. So to look legit, I needed to duplicate that. So if you wanna access those, um, you would just hold down either the Windows key or the Option key, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC and then type Q, W, E, or R, and those will give you the alternate versions. Um, those will give you like they're, they're like pre-written out in a sort of stylized format. And if you want the little hearts that I put into the font, just type the backslash key or the pipe key. Those are the, the keys right above your enter key on your keyboard. Now, when you have all of your gift tag text the way you want it, just go through and make sure that each text layer you want set to right and that you need that right layer attached to the, the layer immediately below it. Right? So you want each text layer set to right and then attached to the layer immediately below it so that it writes on the piece of paper that you're going to be cutting. All right, so let me show you how to create the tearaway reveal gift tags that I designed last year. So you're going to want to import those just like um, you imported any other file of mine, and I've already uploaded it, so we're just going to insert it right now. Now there's two things that you need to do before you can start putting text on these. One is to rotate it, and you use the rotate icon in the upper right-hand corner, and if you hold down the shift key, when you rotate, it'll rotate in nice, neat increments and be nice and straight for you. Now you want to go to flip and do flip horizontal. 
Okay, now you can put your text on it. So I'm just gonna paste in the text that I already wrote, change the font to my maker pen writing font, and then resize it. And then you'll see those little, um, those four corners there, that indicates where your text should be. Um, so that it shows when the tear strip is removed. So if you, as long as you keep your text in there, you'll be able to see it when it's uh, when it's opened up. And then select everything and click attach. Make sure all of your text is set to write. Just double check everything. Sometimes they, even though we we put in text, it de could not, doesn't always default to write. And that's probably because many people like to cut out their text, right? <laughs> so we can, that makes sense really. When you're ready, click make it and it will uh, separate into the mats that you need. So this first mat will be our tear away gift tags. And you can see it has a draw and a cut um, listed over there on the left. And here are our gift tags and here's the basis for all those gift tags. Now you'll note that there's two red mats uh, because they didn't all fit onto one and I'm that's not acceptable. <laughs> they can totally fit on one. So I'm clicking and dragging the items around on the mat preview and then also moving them from this one little mat to this one bigger mat. Um, you just click those three, the, the icon with the three dots and then select the mat you want to move it to and it, it moves it over there. And now everything is on one mat. And then when you're ready, you'll click continue. Select your Cricut and set the material appropriate to what you're cutting. I do not recommend that you cut the tearaway gift tags on glitter cardstock because you'll need to put your glitter sheet face down and that doesn't work. <laughs> you always need to cut glitter cardstock face up because it just won't stick to your mat. Okay, so let's send it to the Cricut and let's cut it. We're going to start with the tearaway gift tag and we have to put our paper down face down so that the white layer is the layer that we write on and the decorative layer is the layer that pulled it up on the outside. And I'm going to use this black 0.4 tip Cricut pen uh, because I think it looks best for my pen writing font. This is the standard pen, by the way, that usually comes with a Cricut. When you're writing, just put your cap on your pen, it's in your Cricut so you don't misplace it. <laughs> And Noah does not write this fast. I have sped this video up so that you don't have to sit here and watch my Cricut write all of my gift tags. You don't have time for that. You have gift tags to make. So it's now cutting. So first it did the writing and now it's doing the cutting. All right, so here's what it looked like. Here they are. Pretty awesome, huh? So they're all pre-addressed. You just fold them in half and you're good to go. All right, so now let's do our more traditional gift tags. I have my pen in the machine and there it goes. It's just writing as if it were me. <laughs> like seriously, when I look at this writing, I'm like, it's crazy because it looks like my writing. Okay, and so halfway through, I'm changing my pen color because I can. And if you want to do this, you want to experiment with pens or you know, the sizes and stuff, you just click the pause button and you replace the pen and it'll start writing in that pen color. So when it's done writing, it starts cutting. There we go. There is our Cricut has written and cut all of our gift tags. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so here's all my gift tags. Here's the pens I used. This is the 0.4 tip pen, which I think looks the best. I also experimented with a calligraphy pen, which would be okay if the text was larger. A silver uh, pen, so I did some different shapes and fonts and such like that. So, And I wanna show you how close this is to my writing. So here's a sheet. 
and there is the tag and here I'm going to write the same text. Look at that. Isn't that really, really similar? I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to me. All right, so assembling these gift tags is so super easy. I'm just gonna use glue dots because it's really, really, really simple. So you just, you know, you don't even have to use these second layers. I made them because I thought they look kind of classy. If you're in a hurry, eh, it doesn't matter. But if you want to, you just glue them on like this. So let's do the rest of them real quick. Also, you can use these, the holes to line up, you know, when you're doing these multi-layers, use the holes to line everything up so it, it's positioned in place correctly. All right, there we go. Tag, so let's look at how to put together the Tearaway Reveal Gift Tag. So it's already pre-written. All we need to do is put some glue around the edge, just the edge, because if you put it in the middle, then it messes with the uh, tearaway parts. So just put some glue around there, press it down until it seals, and uh, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Put it on your package and you're done. And when it's time, you just rip it open and then you see who it's to and who it's from. These are a lot of fun. Okay. Now when I posted in my Facebook group, Cricut Crafters and Makers. By the way, if you're not in the group, you should totally come over and join us because I talk about a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing videos and tutorials about and give everybody sneak peeks there. Speaking of which, I gave everyone a sneak peek of my font. And when I did that yesterday, many questions were asked about how folks can make their own handwriting font or pen writing font. So I just thought I would tell you two ways that you can do it. So the way that I did it was to use Adobe Illustrator and actually write the font in, in uh, you know, using my pen, pencil tool, actually, I'm using my pencil tool and it's set to, you know, the, the width of this font, this pencil is very thin. And then I'm also using an add-on called Fonts Elf, in which you can see over here on the right, that's the panel. And so when you finished a letter, it's really awesome. All you do is you drag that letter over to the font self panel and it imports it for you and you tell it what letter you want it to be. So in this case, it's a lowercase r. And then you just continue like this for all of your, all of your letters. And then you can save it as an open type format font, which means that you can share it with other people and of course, install it on your system and use it in Cricut Design Space. So Illustrator, neither Illustrator nor FontSelf are free. Uh, they're both um, Illustrator's professional level illustration software. And FontSelf is um, currently about $50. But it was super easy to create a font with it and I highly recommend it if you already have Illustrator. I believe it also will work with Photoshop. So it's an add-on for either Photoshop or Illustrator. All right, but there's another option if you're not, if you don't have Illustrator, um, and that is to use a site called calligrapher.com. Um, and it's spelled without an E at the end. So calligraph and then R.com. And what this is, is that you create a template that you then download and print and you write in the template itself with your own letters, right? And then you scan it and upload it and you can create a font from your handwriting. Now, the free version of Calligrapher is limited to 75 letters or numbers, and you can only have one font at any one time, but if all you wanna do is make your own handwriting font to use yourself um, in Cricut Design Space or wherever, then this might be a great option for you, so you can check that out. I have not actually made a font in Calligrapher, so I don't know for sure that it works, but as long as you, so the advice that they give is to use a marker. However, if you use too thick of a marker, your lines will be too thick in Cricut Design Space and you'll get that same bubble letter effect. The whole reason that my pen writing font works is because I'm using a very, very thin stroke when I created my letters. So just something to keep in mind. So you'll wanna use the absolute skinniest, 
pen. <laughs> skinniest pen, you know, the skinniest stroke with a pen that the calligrapher will accept in order for this to, you know, be a good pen writing font. Um, and if that doesn't work and it still creates bubble letters, you'll have to revert back to using illustration software and creating your own font. And if anyone is really, really interested in like the fine details of how to create a font in Illustrator using the font self add-on, let me know. I would be happy to add that to my cut above SVG design course since essentially these are all, that's a, the font is SVG files that are getting pulled into uh, font self to create the font. So it's all tied in with how to make SVGs really. It's very similar, they're very related. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> so I love that my Cricut can make gift tags for me because every year I seem to run out. Now I'll never run out of the ability to make cute gift tags so long as I have some paper, some pens, and my Cricut is working. And I gotta say, watching the Cricut write out my gift tags in my own handwriting was almost freaky. I mean, it totally looks like I wrote it. It's uncanny, but hey, I didn't have to write it, so yay. <laughs> now, if you uh, use your Cricut to write or cut tags, please share your photos in our Facebook group or on social media with hashtag MakerShowAndTell. You know I love to see your photos. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to decorate a tote bag with layered iron-on vinyl. Another great gift idea, and I'll be showing you how to do it with the new Larger Easy Press 2, which I just got. Now, don't forget to send in your project ideas at jennifermaker.com slash show and tell. Remember, if you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until tomorrow.